hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this creative text animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin so if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and if you like this video then don't forget to hit that like button also so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects as always we will create one composition and we will name it as main animation width is 1920 height is 180 frame rate is 30 duration is 30 second long and you can choose whatever duration if you want and background color I'm going to choose black color and simply hit OK then go to create go to title section and click on it and then we will select our text tool and we will choose our font first i'm going to choose white color and i'm going to choose let's say poppins fonts at least for this animation select this and type your text let's type creative and uh, you can type any text you want i'm going to type creative let's select this text press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center I'll go to the align tab, align it horizontally and then align it vertically. Press S for scaling option and scale it at appropriate size. Now select this text and we will go to the animate menu and we will choose position. Then I'm going to move this position upwards over here. Then go to the add menu, choose property and choose first of all tracking. And let's make this value to minus 100 like this also go to the add menu go to the property again and choose opacity and let's make this opacity zero like this now after uh, applying all these properties we will go to the range selector one we will go over here and we will create one keyframe at the start zoom in a little bit or uh, let's go to around let's say 10 frames and let's move this keyframe over here and then i'm going to go around 2.20 frames and i'm going to make this 100 so if I see this animation now, I'll get something like this. Now select those keyframe and hit F9. And if you see this animation now, we will get something like this. Then go to the graph editor. I'm going to select this graph. And by holding shift, I'm going to move this handle over here and this handle over here. So if I see this animation now, I'll get something like this. Okay, so this for this. Now let's select this text and we will hit Ctrl D to duplicate it. I'm going to select this second text. I'll go to the character menu and I'm going to choose let's say black color and for the stroke I'm going to choose white color and stroke width is 2 pixels. Then I'll select my first layer which uh, fill is white color. I'm going to adjust it uh, just a little bit forward. So if I see this animation now I'll get this first stroke animation then my text animation. Okay then we will select this second layer and I'll hit ctrl D to duplicate it. Let's select this third layer and we are going to uh, delete this fill. We only need its stroke. I'll select this layer. I'll press S for scaling option and I'll scale it like this and press P for position and let's bring this over here. And for the stroke width, I'm going to choose, let's say, uh, let's minimum as we can. I'm going to choose 0.2 like this. Okay, so we will get something like this. Now select all these three layers and I'll press Ctrl Shift C to pre-compose this. I'll call it as text animation and I'm going to hit OK. So we'll get something like this. Now I'll press Ctrl N to create another composition. I'm going to call it as ramp and hit OK. Then press Ctrl Y to create one solid background. I'm going to call it as BG and for the color you can choose whatever color you want and simply hit OK. Then we will go to the effect and presets panel but before that let's do one thing I'm going to select my ellipse tool and I'm going to choose black color over here and simply hit OK and by holding shift I'm going to create one ellipse over here then select this ellipse press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center then go to the effect and presets panel and search for gaussian blur effect you can type blur over here so you will get this gaussian blur and simply double click to apply and blurriness i'm going to choose 200 so i'll get something like this so let's make this 350 
okay this looks good to me now select this pg go to the effect and presets panel and search for gradient ramp effect simply double click to apply move this anchor point over here and let's move this anchor point over here and uh, you can swap this color so we will get something like this then right click new and create one adjustment layer and we are going to apply mosaic effect on it simply double click to apply and horizontal blocks i'm going to choose 40 and vertical blocks also 40 let's go to the main animation hit ctrl 0 select this ramp and move this over here and we will hide this layer then select this text animation layer go to the effect and presets panel and we will search for time displacement effect and simply double click to apply this effect and make sure that your resolution is half so it's not gonna get too much complicated if you see this animation now i am gonna get something like this so what we need to do we will select this text animation layer and go to the time displacement layer and i'm going to select this ramp so if i see this animation now i'll get this kind of animation over here like this okay now let's hit ctrl a to select both the text layers uh, i mean text layer and ramp layer press ctrl so c i'll call it as one and hit ok and select this layer hit ctrl d to duplicate it and hit ctrl d to duplicate it again now select this third layer let's hide this layers first and go to the effect and presets panel and i'm going to apply a find the edge effect on it and simply make this inverted so we will get something like this if you see this thing in full resolution you know, you are going to get this kind of strokes effect over here let's make this half resolution now select this third uh, second layer go to the effect and presets panel and you can apply fill effect on it you can choose whatever color you want over here uh, and then we will enable our first layer now what i'm gonna do let's uh, start to play uh, let's go to around 20 frames select this layer and fill layer and move this over here and go to 10 say 1.10 frames and select this layer over here like this so if i see this animation now i will get this kind of effect okay and after that uh, we will go to our text animation layer and over here if you want then you can adjust some settings like let's right click or uh, uh, what we will do let's go to the main animation only and let's go to the ellipse tool and we will choose white color and hit ok like this then right click new and create one null object select all of these three layers and we will make it parent with this null object first so there is a null, one null object which is gonna control this entire animation then uh, i'm going to select this ellipse and by holding shift i'm going to create one small dot over here then select this dot press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center and let's hide this all layers now and make this full resolution let's go to the add menu and choose repeater go to the repeater one go to the transform repeater one and let's change the position to somewhere around over here and increase the copies somewhere around like this then i'm going to select this repeater one and i hit ctrl d to duplicate it go inside this repeater two and transform repeater two let's make the position zero on x-axis and increase it on y-axis and i'm going to decrease the copies like this now i'm going to create one keyframe at the position over here then go to the transform repeater one and again i'm going to create one po position keyframe over here and now hit u go to around let's say 20 frames and i'm going to create one keyframe again let's go to the start let's make this x value also zero and this y value also zero so if i see i'll get something like this but if you see this looks quite weird so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna select those keyframes and i'm gonna hit f9 let's go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here and move this handle over here and i'm going to select this second keyframes and i'll move them over here so if i see i'll get this kind of animation now i'm going to select this shape layer and i'll hit ctrl d to duplicate it like this press v and let's move this thing over here okay let's go to the start select both the layers and press p for position create one keyframe like this let's go to around six seconds let's select this and let's move this over here select this and let's move this over here and if you want then you can change the position of this tool also let's select all these keyframes and let's bring this totally up to here let's select this much portion and let's bring this over here 
so if i see this animation now i'll get this kind of stuff let's select this and let's move this one over here like this okay and now let's enable all of these layers and i'm going to select the shape layers also and i'll make it apparent with this null one select this null one press s for scaling option uh, sorry not a but s let's make this 110 initially create one keyframe and now i'll run this animation i'll choose third resolution so it will animate a little bit faster in our after effects preview and at the end of this animation let's move this keyframes over here up to let's say around seven seconds i'm going to make this one zero zero and i'll hit n so if i see these animations from the start along with this text animation i'm gonna get some scaling animation also okay so this is how we can create this kind of animation so yep that's it for the today's video we will see you in my next video so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and if you want to create some more interesting animations like this then check out these two videos i'll see you in my next video until then stay tuned